Ho, 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 Avon's calling. Merry Christmas in July. Um, I thought I'd do a quick uh, little Christmas in July video. Two reasons. One, because, well, July is almost over. And because I bought this, which is a Christmas decoration. I buy most of my Christmas decorations off-season because, well, you save quite a bit of money. I only paid 20 bucks for this. Before I start, I will clarify... The reason I call this show Retro Tech is because some of what will be on it is sort of debatable as to whether it's called vintage or not. So rather than calling this vintage or antique tech, I've called it Retro Tech because that's sort of disambiguous. This is 16 years old. It was made in 2002 by Avon. Let me introduce to you the Avon Holiday Express. And here she is in all of her glory. But not just 2002 glory, which would normally mean completely plastic. No, no, no. This thing has very little plastic. It has some, it has some, but very little. The majority of this is wood, brass, and porcelain. And not just this, but the train itself. This is actually porcelain. No joke. And beautiful white porcelain with nice gold trim as well. You have brass wheels. And like I said, there is some plastic. You can see there's plastic. There's a bit of plastic. The, the very bases of these are plastic, as are the hooks, which is probably the uh, weak point of this, but we'll just not talk about that. It is just absolutely beautiful. Like I said, this was made in 2002, which means it is only 16 years old, but it is a porcelain train set. And it is a train set, to be clear. A lot of people are like, well, no, this is a dis train display, maybe. No, no, no. This actually has electrified rails and a motor in here. This is not pulled by a chain. This is not pulled by an arm circling around. This engine has a motor. This pulls this. This is a proper train set in display miniature form. Seriously. Now, before we start, I think it's proper to discuss the controls. This can be powered two ways. It can be powered by four C batteries or a plug. Now, I'm going to say I don't think the batteries would last long between playing the music, because this does play music, and running the motor on this, especially with all the electricity that tends to get lost in the rails. Um, I don't think the batteries would last for very long. But the battery pack in this one doesn't work anyways. Somebody left some batteries in there, a little bit of battery acid. I could clean it up. It wouldn't be hard. It's not permanently damaged, but why bother when I have... A power plug for it. On the back you can see there's the power plug, there's the volume switch because this does play music, and here's the power switch. Now this has two ways it can go. It can go left or right. They both do something different. There's also a button right here. So let's show you what they do. Now like I said this is a proper train set. If you want to run it as a train set, move the slider over to the right there you go. That's simple. But, if you really are just using this more for display purposes, which is probably what you do, you move it over to the left, and then you press the button. And I'm just going to sit back and let her play. Oh, on the left. 
that's what it does. When it, it cycles through its little music, and then it just stops, in this case, right back where it started. Now, ain't that cool? It, I absolutely adore this thing. Um, it, it's just, it's beautiful. The porcelain, the white gold trim, the small details, like the fact that, uh, like, the elves here, for example, and the little uh, teddy bear up here, and the packages back on the benches, they're actually not coated like the rest of them. They're just flat, which which makes them stand out, and it's, it's just these little tiny details that this thing has that are absolutely phenomenal. It's beautiful. It works. It is a proper train set, really, which is really cool. It's not too big. It's about 16 inches wide, give or take. And uh, like I said, it can run off batteries, too. So you can put this somewhere where you're, you know, in the middle of the living room where you don't have access to a power outlet. And it just is absolutely beautiful. Take a quick, closer look at these. If the uh, camera... Oh, yeah, there we go. Ooh, let's not drop the porcelain train. And the wheels, like I said, are brass. Uh, here's the passenger car. That would be the observation car that we just looked at. A little reindeer. Over here, another elf. It's, I mean, they are detailed on both sides. And then the engine, which has Santa, which, which is one of the problems with this, which I'll talk about here in a second. And you can see the... the uh, right here, this is the, oh, oh my arm's caught. Uh, this is the drive wheel, and they actually have rubber on them. I do know if that rubber ever gives, I'll never be able to replace it with the right one, but I could probably just wrap a small rubber band around it. I'm not too concerned. And back here are the contact wheels. Now, I will say these do press kind of hard against them, so these essentially drag on the track. They don't really spin very well, but it still works, so who cares? Now, like I said, there is a problem with this. Um, one of these is the real Santa. Can you tell me which one? I don't know why there's two Santas, but now ah, who cares? This is just, it, it's absolutely beautiful. Like I said, it works perfectly fine. Um... I mean, it's 16 years old, and it still works without issue. It does, apparently these do sometimes have problems making contact with the track. I'm not sure if that's more because of these wheels not spinning, or if that's because this is brass, and it just tends to... You can't probably see it, but there is a bit of tarnish on the tracks. But it came with a little piece of, uh, of what is essentially sandpaper to clean them off. I haven't done that yet. I haven't had a need to. But, you know, it's brass, so if you have to, you just polish it up a bit and it'll make contact again. No big deal. I love trains. I don't know how anybody cannot have a train set at Christmas. That's just, that, that's, that's, burn them at the stake. That's heresy or something. I mean, yeah. Uh, but I love this thing. It is, like I keep saying, it's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous in every way. I actually found out about this by accident because I saw just the base in a thrift store without everything else and uh, said, well, I've got to figure out who made that and what the rest of it looks like. And I found one, found it really cheap and bought it up. So that's pretty much all I can say about it. Go buy one. I'll put a link in the description to uh, to an eBay search that should contain some of these in case you want to go buy one. Again, buy them off season, you'll get them cheaper. Plus, you don't want these going through the holiday mail. They are porcelain after all. Even if, even if you're lucky enough to get it with the full original box and packaging and instructions and all that, you still don't want it going through the holiday mail. So that's it for this time. Happy trails and ho 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 ho. Oh, Merry Christmas in July.